It's right beside. She came. <laughs> right out. Oh, started the call. She came. Brilliant. She said, I know. <laughs> Great. So hi, everyone. I'm Elizabeth, as you will know, from Sacred Earth and Storm School. And today I have the most amazing person. And I'm starting this as a series to help people to become more connected to the mind calendar and maybe to have more practical examples of the different star signs of the mind calendar. So today I'm kicking off and starting with one of my most favorite people in the world. Her name is Yas Yasmin. So <laughs> and Jasmine is a white wizard. And yeah. in the ordinary astrology, she is an Aquarian. So I really love starting with an Aquarian because Jasmine, through her, her astrology sign, is holding the space of the Aquarian energy that we, as we know, we're all busy evolving into and starting to embrace more and more. Um, the planet, planet Uranus. So welcome, Yasmin, and thank you for showing up. Beautiful, thank you, beautiful, Elizabeth, amazing. and thank you for considering me for, to be the first one in this series. It's Yeah, my exactly. <laughs> yes, to woman power, eh? But there will be a few men too. <laughs> Great. Oh. And your beautiful cat is sitting next to you, hey? Yes. She felt it. She felt the energy. She, uh, so she wanted to be part of it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so Yasmin lives in one of my most favorite places in the world, and she lives in Cairo, in yes. Egypt. She's Egyptian, but so much more. So, so you know, it's so amazing. So maybe just tell us a little bit about yourself. So, so you're born in Cairo, hey? Yes, I was born in Cairo. I'm uh, 43 years old. Uh... I have uh, uh, Turkish origins, by the way. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, what else? And that's it. Yeah. So you went to school in Cairo. So you, yes. yeah, so you've got... All yeah. of my life I've been in Cairo. Yes, all of my life. Yeah. So you've mm. been next to the pyramids and holding space for the pyramids. And the, <laughs> Nile, the Nile is part of my character. And yeah, I have this connection with the Nile, especially because I was raised in Manyan. It's very close to the Nile. Okay. Um, it's, it's part of my soul. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And if you look at the Nile in Egypt, I mean, it's amazing. It's such a force of life. Eh? Everything revolves around it ultimately. Yes. Absolutely amazing. And, and tell me, how has it been to, you've obviously chosen to incarnate living in Egypt, which is one of the most powerful countries in the world, you know, from ancient times and, and up to now. How has how's that experience been? So you, you, you've embraced a lot of the Sufi as well, hey, or what? Yes. yes. Recently, recently, the Sufi, uh, yeah, and actually, it's not recent. Uh, it started while I was in uh, the university. I started this connection with uh, Sufi readings and to read about uh, the masters in Sufism. And then it came back again, uh, like one year and a half when I took a course or a diploma, actually a diploma in something called stages of the heart. And it is the stages of development in Sufism. And I started okay. a very deep connection with, uh, with Sufism. Yeah, beautiful. And behind you are the Sufi dancers. I love yes, the of course. <laughs> beautiful. I Is that a painting? It. Yes, I love Sufism because, you know, Elizabeth, I went through a lot of readings about uh, everything, all religions and uh, the the laws of the universe and every any almost everything I went through but I found definitely all are the same but in Sufism it's all about love yeah, the love it's of course the love of the ourselves which is come which come first the love of ourselves and how to take care of ourselves and that the center of wisdom is our heart, which also 
every uh, single science or religion talks about it, but in Sufism, it's very, very focused and straight to the point. Yeah. And how to do it is very, is very simple. And I love simplicity. This is why I felt connected to Sufism. Uh, yeah. I believe simplicity is part of my, who I am. Being a white wizard, a white dog, uh, yes, white... I was just going to say, you know, that's, <laughs> yes. yeah, that's such a, because one of your, like I call it the creation codings, you, your dance as a creator in the Mayan calendar, you start with white dog and white dog yes. is about the heart. The keywords are heart, unconditional love and loyalty. And so this thing with the heart is just so beautiful because that starts your creation dance and exactly. it's, it's everything. Wow, I love it. And, and you know, it's so interesting that the thing with the Sufi and um, like I'm doing a, a just a, a kind of a ceremony for some friends who are getting married tomorrow. And the first thing that came to me was to do a Rumi poem. Okay. Talking about, yeah, the heart and love. And, you know, it just seems to express so much universal wisdom, as you were saying. It's, it's, it's present yes. in every, everything. But it's so beautifully expressed, and there's a certain beauty and feminine energy for me in it. Hey, it that's, is. It, is. That, it brings that's very much this new Aquarian age as well. Do you remember you know? your uh, program, uh, the Rumi program, while you were in Turkey? Yes, yes. I we did that have, program. Yes, I still have the quotes in my in my room, and I pick yes. one every single day. Because is it's, that it's so? amazing. Yes. It's amazing, yeah. Elizabeth. And I feel guided by it till now. And surprisingly, I invited some of my friends at home here. And I gave them uh, so the, to pick Yanni from the Sufi, uh, from Rumi's uh, quotes. And each one of them was surprised with the customized quote for her. It yes, was really and you so perfect. It's like a, almost yes. drawing a tarot card or a exactly that you did it with the with the poems. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you know what's so interesting as well is I'm just thinking, is that your Venus star point? And for people that don't know, it's kind of the the dance of Venus and the sun that comes up. And when you were born, you were in the cycle of the Virgo Venus star point, which is about being this natural healer, you know? So your presence is so healing for people. So I was just thinking like when you're talking about your friends, um, it's like they receive that, that purity because Virgo is, is so much about purity and that goes so well with the wired dog. It's almost like it seems to be very similar. Um, yes. And that, that, you know, the Virgo is this, it's very simple but very profound and clean and precise and, and pure. Pure is actually, I think, the word. And yeah, so I love that, eh? Hey? So, so the Sufi... always, by the way, you're talking about purity, if you remember, Elizabeth, I've always had this resistance yes. towards my, uh, being a, a pure being. <laughs> and okay, so tell us a little bit about that. That's so interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went through, uh, after my divorce, I went through this rebellious and being rebellious uh, coping mechanism, but I had this thing and I was resisting everything that I am. Just wow. to, yes, and I started to acknowledge this and acknowledge who I am. Uh, yeah, I need really to be anchored in this like one year and a half since one year and a half exactly to really yes. acknowledge understand and to know the beauty Who you of are and form. and that purity so what was the resistance against the purity was it just yeah it was just perceptions perceptions yeah. only wrong perceptions yeah, yeah wrong Thanks. perceptions from the coping mechanism of how am I going to be accepted, Yes, uh, acknowledged, and loved? And for now, I really don't care, and I really don't want to go there. Yeah, so now you're in your Aquarian, hey? Because the yes. Aquarius is so <laughs> about being unique, 
and different exactly. and being an individual and and this beautiful openness you know of the Aquarian energy I love that because it's you know it's so not with the rules anymore it's it's much more free it's the freedom hey of being open and and just um to create and also that sense of genius and you know and Yasmin I really sense the sense of genius that you that you hold and we all do and I've got this passion that you know it's time for us to start living it and to acknowledge it and and also maybe being a woman hey like in Egypt you are I mean I just look at you as as many you amazing women in Egypt you know holding such a powerful space and there's a sense of ease that you have like you are natural leaders um, and you've chosen to be there yeah. you know in this lifetime to hold the space for the feminine and also the and the feminine is in all of us you know man with this male or female as we know but there's a sense of majesty as well in the Egyptian energy and the people <laughs> And I just, I love it. And I feel like but, but I feel it on a, on stepping a, into it more. Yeah. Yes, but I feel it, Yanni, um, it's not only in Egypt. I feel it as um, a collective consciousness. And I feel yes. it across um, all of the people that I know that they started to talk differently, to stand up for themselves differently. Really, really the feminine energy rising. I can mm. feel it all around. It's like it's an fun. awakening, awakening in the feminine energy. They are different. Yeah. And yeah, the way absolutely. They are and the way they are standing up for themselves and speaking from the heart, it started to, uh, yeah, I need to be well noticed. Yeah, beautiful. And you know, that so also reminds me, so this of the white wizard, because, you know, the white wizard is the solar seal in the Mayan, but um which is your more uh, kind of masculine aspect but the white wizard is such a feminine energy and the key words are enchantment so you are very enchanting <laughs> and also timelessness you know being able to 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 always travel beyond time to be able to do the impossible the white wizard you know you're a magician you're like an, a shaman an inner shaman that can move between dimensions um, and can really do do anything. It's that very beautiful, um, yeah, it's almost non-defined. So do you feel it sometimes that you are, how do you experience the white wizard? I mean, for you, it's just a natural state of being. So you wouldn't always be aware of it, but do you feel that, you know, there's a sense that you, you can move through stuff or there's an ease that you you can flow with things or how, oh, how is it for you? Flow in, uh, in situations, uh, flow in, uh, yeah, in, in our awakening or in our uh, evolving. It's not that easy. It's not, yeah, I mean, it comes with ease, definitely. But I mean, uh, the way we are Yani, um, handling all of it, exactly handling our yeah, the way I'm handling this. And for instance, the last month, Elizabeth, after the eclipse, it yes. was. <laughs> it <laughs> was. <laughs> wow. On a physical. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> on a physical <laughs> level, it was really hard. It was uh, on a nervous system level. Uh, yes. And definitely, um, it was felt deeply in my body. But it was a, yani, a huge transformation for me. And it went very smooth and with ease yeah. beyond imagination. Yeah, so that's the kind of white wizard. It's almost like yeah. you're able to, to move through. And um, it's like you're in the physical. For me, it's almost like I feel, I'm feeling it as... You're in the physical, but you're able to move the energy. It's not only like this, it's, it's, it, feels, uh, it feels like you're going through quantum shifts. Yes. In very small times. Very small time. Yes. You're jumping wow. through the timeline and 
healing the timeline oh yani in the last month i was healing all my timeline and a lot of things popped up and to the surface to be ba healed uh, yani uh, from the roots of it and yeah. you have the this quantum shifts forward also but am i knowing my knowing started yeah. to be very strong yeah which has always been very strong okay because the white yeah. wizard is very very yeah aware because and and you know the thing is also with the white wizard that i'm just thinking now is and, and that's very aquarian for me that's who you are and how i've experienced you as a being is you know there's no judgment because if we judge something we solidify it so the yeah. white wizard in order to have this flow and this this ability to move through these changes like you were saying it was like these short para these paradigm shifts in very short time it's very important that we don't judge ourselves or we judge the experience because the judgment energy is a point of view that becomes solidified and we go out of the question we no longer flow and we in resistance and the white wizard has this natural ability to to you know almost just move through it maneuver um, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly and mm. and and not to have judgment you know so it's like you and and that's so also linked to the heart because if we judge we cannot be in the heart you know we can't yeah. it's totally opposite isn't it if we're in judgment this um we're out of our heart if we're in the heart it's unconditional it doesn't mean that we're not in awareness but um we're not saying it's right and it's wrong we're just looking at the whole big perspective and exactly. we can make choices from there yes so so but do you find because i think the white wizard you know because it's very feminine and timelessness and 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 this that that feeling of magic um so you you very open on a level do you feel do you feel that sometimes you you get influenced by people or very affected by people or environment uh, affected by their energy definitely yani i can yeah. sense people's energy and feel their energy and sometimes i feel i feel them physically yani um i'm 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 very um, sensitive uh to the energy and how they feel if someone feels sad i can feel heaviness in my heart and so yes. if someone feels whatever i can feel it but but the thing is that i, I used to um get yani i used to be confused about it now it's very clear it i yeah. know so you know it's not yours necessarily but you're yes. just very influenced because i think that's the thing with the white wizard is you know and and we all have aspects of this in our being you know so you you've incarnated as a white wizard but we all have it in our you know we are a combination of all of it each person um is the you know that that thing of being affected being open which is really important because we must be able so the white wizard is very much you you able to receive because you're open yes but but at the same time there's also you know um, and this is beautiful because you you say you become more and more aware when it's not your own so you can experience it but you don't have to take it on exactly. or start doubting yourself or you know almost become uh, overwhelmed by it no, and, no. and must lose your own your own sense of self yes like it's not there anymore yani uh, i can differentiate now what's yes. mine and what's not mine yani i can differentiate it clearly yes and i think that's a really valuable tool for all of us you know to embrace to because it's so lovely to be open it's really important that we are open because otherwise us we can't receive you know all the beautiful things that we're looking to create and we have created but we have to be able to receive our creations but also to know that we are safe because especially at the moment i feel the sense of safety is so important you know also for the body wow, so this is a great open. tool that you're reminding us of yes and for being open elizabeth yani it's my time we're discovering that we are all open by the way yeah we are all open and receiving and this is how we are created and this is how 
and one of our tools to create also in this life, uh, lifetime. Yet, it's all about our perceptions and being really open from here and here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Wow, that's so amazing. Yeah, the alignment between heart and heart and brain. Yes. The mind and the, and the yeah, I, I love it. So let's talk a little bit. So you are a white, for some people that may not know about the Mayan calendar, you have two different aspects in your star sign. So unlike, say, Western astrology, where uh, Yasmin is an Aquarian, which gives us some information, which is valuable. Um, and I love it that you're born on the 11th, eh? That's a master number. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so, Aquari so Aquarius, but in the Mayan, so you get two, you get a combination of your mass, so called masculine and feminine aspects. So the masculine aspect of Yasmin is a white wizard. And then her feminine aspect is overtone. Now, I love overtone, and I'd love you to maybe think a little bit of how that's come up in your life. But overtone is about empowerment. So it's like you will, your journey, your life journey will always be about you becoming more empowered and maybe encount, encountering situations where you feel disempowered. Because how do we know to become empowered? It's like we overcome disempowerment. So, so we yes. experience the disempowerment. And then once you've become empowered, you will always have this very deep um, desire and passion to help others to become also empowered. So I love yes. your overtone um, uh, feminine aspect that you hold, which is, you know, you, part of your destiny in this lifetime is to be a, a, a tool for empowerment, also for others, to help others to, to know that it's possible. And maybe this is part of this power that I sent in you, you know, that you, your, you and your body lived it. And as you lived it, you <laughs> we lived it, it on. We really lived it. And that's the, that's the test, you know. It's easy to say things, but we've got to live it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So how do you feel this? Uh, this overtone yeah are you aware of that or yeah if you of look course. at your life hey <laughs> life. <laughs> you know <laughs> but definitely i can share that uh i lived like it. maybe even with your I divorce, lived the hey, two polarities I, mean, you I lived the two polarities of it i was really really yeah any um my power was taken away from me all of my life or people around me was trying to take my power away from me all of my life, across my life. Yeah. Then it suddenly came to me that this is not my path and this is not who I am. And I was the first one in my family or in my surrounding to... Um, to take a step towards this you know in the egyptian culture and in our religion it's not that easy to decide that you want to get a divorce for instance and in our culture yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it was the first one in my family to take this step wow towards taking back my power yes yeah. and it was the first step in this and yeah and until like last month too because this one was very very interesting for me and it was very nice to claim back uh, like a very big percentage of my power back and understand wow. more and see things from a different perspective and put things in the in their place to yeah. have my full power which is really i already have it but i'm just claiming it back claiming the energy that I gave, yes, yes that away. I gave, gave away myself, exactly. Yeah, beautiful. That is such and a beautiful that, example. And, and I since, love it since I because... started this, and since I started this, Elizabeth, sorry to interrupt you, and started mastering, yeah, and claiming back my power properly, I feel it that it's affecting people around me. And it's really, yeah. really beautiful. Them. And, and that's that so living your destiny, in a way, as the, as the white overtone wizard, hey? 
showing people that it's possible and feeling yes. that sense of freedom, you know, and, 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 and liberation. Exactly. Which is, which I was just going to say is very much in tune also since the eclipse, you know, now, I mean, it's about really revisiting a lot, the body going back into really another level of, of old challenges um, yes. or experiences and being able to complete them. And I love your, your, but this is so Aquarius for me, you know, your open openness to deal with it in a way where you don't get bogged down and you judge it and go, uh, go into victim and, oh, poor me, why, am I, why is this happening to me? Why must I look at this again? You know, poor me, <laughs> blah, 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 I've done wrong. I've been done wrong. I'm a victim. You know, all of that. But your, your energy is so different. And this is the key, you know, that we're stepping into the Aquarian is to go, no, this is a gift. And, and the only question is, how do I deal with this? You know, because this is, I'm actually being gifted with an opportunity to complete something, to get more awareness about this, yes. to start to live my power, like you were saying. Yes. Exactly. Okay, my it, was, power. it was all about getting out of the victim mentality. Yes. Getting rid of the victim mentality once and for all. Yeah, absolutely. And Yes, and to to lay back in a, and enjoy the the feminine energy, and to trust the masculine. It was all about being anchored in my feminine energy and to trust. And trust, by the way, uh, it was a challenge uh, across my life till I discovered that the real trust is in myself and in the universe and and we all talk about it all the time but to really mm. experience it and, and to be live, exactly and, live and that the body can go through that experience yes exactly that's about it's about embodiment and that's when you feel and you experience the real creation for myself by elizabeth i i yani what i experienced recently uh, it was yani like magic, but how when I really, really trusted the universe and completely surrendered and I was in the question, how can I solve this? It was solved in two days. Wow, beautiful. And, and look how, it, was, yeah, the question. Ask yes, the question. Which yes, creates. and it was a very big thing. And I was, oh, how am I going to solve this? And I said, <laughs> I, I love it. it. <laughs> and then you yes, this is yes. this is absolute creation. I love it. Look how what a mas what mastery. And it's just a willingness, you know, it's like it's so beautiful you saying it, and we all can do it. Anyone listening to this, you know, who may feel that and we're all going through it. It doesn't matter, every single person on this planet, you know, we all are here to evolve and to learn and to grow. Um and you know, so anyone even listening to this, like if you feel like, yeah, there's something that I just never feel I can solve, or this is just too big and I don't know how to do this, just be in the question. Something simple, like you were saying. Stop the blah, blah, blah mind. Stop yeah. your own doing. And that you will solve it by your own thinking and be purely in the question. And it will yeah. be solved. Yeah. And the question is just really simple, like, I wonder how this is going to, how I can change this, you know, and just waiting for the intuition or something will show up or some idea that you'll get and just take the first step, just take yes. the one step. It's just a tiny step, but you know, it's really uh, this thing about one step, small step for humanity, but a big step. Yeah. <laughs> one step for you, but, but big step for humanity. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, my darling. So let's talk a little bit, Yasmin. So also what, what in the Mayan calendar, um, you in your creation codes, your true being. So in your creation dance, we spoke a little bit where you are the, the white dog, where your creation starts by being really having this open heart that you so have. Um, and then you go into the blue monkey, which is all about play. Play, of and course. And your son is such a, <laughs> he's, he's for me like such a blue monkey. He just, you know, you are teaching us to play. Hey, the children are teaching us to play and have humor and have fun. 
and yes. not take life so seriously. So it's like a detachment. Exactly. I'm seeing everything better from the, the, the blue monkey perspective. Sometimes it will, it's like, um, it's a decision for me. So far, mm. it's like, okay, today I want to call in the energy of the blue monkey. Yet it's all there, and it's it's uh, it's in me all the yes. time. <laughs> uh, but when I call in this, the energy of the blue monkey, it's amazing how you are receiving yeah. every situation, and how it's filled with joy, magic, and play. Yeah, and it's beautiful because yeah, the blue monkey is is also about magic, and you are a white wizard. So yeah, beautiful, and then. Your true coding is the white. So I want to ask you about the channeling. So is white your true essence as a creator? Yes. So this is the way when you dance, when you create something specifically, is white wind, which is about that you are a natural channeler, chal channeler of spirit. <laughs> and the spirit yes. comes through you. So when I look at you, even now when we're talking, you know, so much of it is just coming through you. It's like you're just meant to write or speak, or, you know, there's, there's this pure, and once again, it's the purity of the white wind, you know, to be able to, to just allow things to come through you, and you are the vehicle, but it's, it's un, unaffected by the personality or the, yeah, the, the, the kind of, the being, yeah. Yes, yes. So how's that for you? uh no, it's uh, it's like for you to to start to express it in this world yeah of course okay. i i have it i have it since i was born since the any before knowing about anything yes. and i used to write uh since i was a child to write a lot and i loved writing and i started uh, um, when i was 11 years old to start uh, i started writing poetry and then okay. suddenly Yes, and suddenly I stopped this, uh, but recently, till like now, but, uh, yeah, I used to express all my feelings, of course, across like 10 years now through writing, and I love writing, yet the channeling was really felt but, uh, very since one year, and I started to record all my channel, the channelings, and to yes. write it down. And also, I found myself uh, uh, going back to poetry. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yes. yes. <laughs> but Arabic poetry, but yeah, because I'm affected, I'm a little bit affected with the Sufism. So I found myself writing Arabic poetry. Yeah, I was just going to say, because I think that too goes, it goes very well. You know, because Sufi is like, um, you know, your experience of it and the heart is so connected to to that purity of being able to channel to be able to channel this universal wisdom um in the feminine kind of way um really beautiful beautiful match um i was gonna say yeah the the you know this thing about creativity i'd love to ask you this question mm. you know what happens that we stop being so-called creative because the mind the, the mantra of the Mayan is time is art. Yes. So it's saying that we are creators. And this is, this is really the value of time. Why are we given this opportunity to live in a human body and experience time is to, to create. So we're creating our lives, but it's also about being creative. So what do you think happens? Or do you have a sense about I mean, it's good to have diff do different things at different stages. But what is it that almost as a humanity, you know, we can be so creative earlier on, maybe. And then what happens that we so-called lose it? Because we never lose it. But something gets closed down. For me, uh, for me, Elizabeth, when, uh, when I Stiani, learned this, and definitely a uh, big, very big part of it I learned from you. Uh, it's being creative is is in every single moment. You can be creative yeah. in how you wear, how you talk, and how you express yourself, how you work. 
whatever you're working and whatever you're doing a very uh, even a technical thing and how you're doing it it's all of this is being creative and being and creating something it's all about how your mind functioning and the the alignment and the purpose yes. of it and uh, where is it coming from is it coming from joy play and uh, being on service or yani yeah, uh, having this with an intention to to the world and to earth or you're just doing it just doing yeah, it because beautiful. you have to because you beautiful. have to I love that wow it really i can really feel my heart <laughs> <laughs> that's so beautiful that was definitely channeled just when you was you know that needs to be recorded yeah that i've never thought of it in that way you know that um it's also the intention of living you know so say for example like at work i mean you've got a very high powered job <laughs> and I, i love it that you know you can live in this so-called ordinary world or the more 3d world and yet you have this very deep spiritual um way of living and once again for me and i know you egyptians will always deny it because you are so humble and modest but really <laughs> so many of you are living it you know you are it's almost like a natural spirituality it's a natural way of of looking at things on a more deeper level living it differently not even looking at it just living it on a deeper level you know so yeah. everything's infused by it because it's not what we do but it's like you say it's our intention it's our our awareness our intention exactly. with it mm-hmm. you know how we perceive it la and at this time i mean you can easily everyone can change his his work or her work or or house or whatever with very simple intentions with very simple uh, uh, crystals with very simple uh, uh yani um, colors and changing mm-hmm. the place with it, and changing even the furniture every every now and then with intentions everything can painting a very small painting with an intention and putting it around uh i believe that very simple things can really change a lot around us yeah. and, and just so accessible you know and perhaps part of why we lose it is that we start to feel pressurized that we have to perform or you know it has to be a certain we compare it with yeah. compared to others and exactly to- and the plants and the plants elizabeth <laughs> when we started our plants program the artemisias i know i oh love it oh my god the artemisias and the mint and i started to connect with this uh kingdom yes. it's it's something else oh my god it yeah. has a huge effect in our yeah. body in our connection and in our heart uh and everything around us in our state yani really really your frequency can change dramatically when you decide to connect with this king yeah absolutely at the, at the moment especially i mean it's always been like this so yeah your connection to earth is very strong i mean you know it's it's so kind of anchored there in egypt like in in um you have the physical pyramids there you know like what do they say time is not afraid of in anything except the pyramids <laughs> <laughs> maybe if maybe if the pyramids is a white lizard maybe maybe they are representing timelessness <laughs> yeah exactly that's the word today yes. no wonder you are a guardian of the pyramids there in Cairo living there <laughs> incarnating there yeah exactly timelessness so yes. yeah there's always i love that quote because it really is that you know when you're standing in front of that uh, the pyramids like for example the great pyramid i mean it just you just have this sense of timelessness exactly you know it doesn't matter what the archaeologists say how how long it's been etc blah 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 but the energy of the earth there and this is very earth because you know it's there in front of you physically it's so earth isn't it yes um you can't get it more earth than seeing this physical structure 
built from stone, which is the earth. And just that feeling of, you know, it is so immensely stable and strong and it can withstand anything, even time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, it, and time has to, it's merges. So you're so right. I love this. It's like the white wizard. Um, <laughs> So, so, you know, there's this deep connection, like you were saying, you have this connection to the Nile. So let's yeah. talk a little bit to, to kind of maybe bring this to some kind of conclusion is because, you know, next year I really sense, like I think I've, we've talked about before is, and also if you look at the astrology, there's going to be such a big shift for humanity to become yes. more connected to the earth and to nature. So... Um, interesting that you were talking about the plant kingdom and stuff, you know, um, and, and how much that you, you're aware of how it's assisted you. Um, but, but yeah, you know, as I say, I mean, in Egypt, there's just such a, such a connection to the earth through these monuments that were built there by these ancient civilizations. And you as the modern um, human, you know, living in Cairo, on some level, you are constantly reminded of it because you are there. You know, it's in your, it's in your field physically as well. Yes. So you have such a strong connection to it. Do you want to maybe talk a little bit about that? And also, like you spoke about the Nile, because I love this thing of the contrast of the Nile, which is the feminine flowing, and then the, the pyramid that's, that's very there right. you know um, yes <laughs> the earth element so the earth element and the water because that's very much the theme for next year you know for as as a global theme uh yeah and i can't i don't have anything in mind now to to talk about it uh with regards to this specifically elizabeth yet um uh, yeah. Yes, what I can share with you is, is that what I know that I am really, I am as a person, I'm really connected to earth. And yes. I have a very, very strong connection and how it can change everything and how I can release uh, all my old energies to earth and yes. can she can receive it where she can receive it with grace and transform it to something else and i've been experiencing this a lot in my life and i didn't i, I was just not noticing but recently i'm noticing this yeah, and, uh, very uh, very vividly yes. uh, what else in and what way maybe, yes, maybe maybe what what we can talk about elizabeth also the change in consciousness and and how everyone is talking about it in a from yes. a negative perspective yes and the way how we perceive it recently that it's not um a dramatic change and it's not yes. the uh, the end of uh, of times and it's not what a lot of gurus are talking about Yes. And uh, the way I'm perceiving it, and it keeps Kida coming and confirming itself again for me. Yes. It's only a change in how people, in the level of consciousness of people. Wow. And yes. if, if not, if they are not going to um, go with the flow and go with this shift in consciousness only what's going going to happen that certain events may occur to make them go with the flow yes to convince so, them that they 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 need to it's go it's like encouraging them. yeah exactly it's, it's encouraging it's facilitating them. it yes but it's exactly. it's really helping us to to wake up and to and to to change our consciousness which is which is happening anyway, but, but not just be in resistance of it. Exactly. And, and that's really the message from the earth. So you're really chanting from the earth now. You know, I mean, this is the message from the earth. This is the message, in a way, from the pyramid, because the pyramid is, you know, standing there telling us 
and this is what you said in a way is also for me so white was it because it's like that timelessness of being able to say you know time is it seems all very dramatic now but actually if we look at it in the scope of infinite time it's actually nothing yes you know it's it's such a small it's huge for us because we're having the experience and don't make a mistake it is huge in terms of evolution but if you look at you know it's like as i said i'm just seeing that this timelessness okay. of the perfect and it goes you know just just start yes, to enjoy the now. dance because yeah be in the timelessness of of the white wizard which actually says i mean can you imagine what the great for example the great pyramid has has observed through the ages mm. the ups and the downs of civilizations and you know and yet they it's still there and there's that beautiful energy which i think you're holding now i can feel it so in my heart as yes, a wife, so thank you for bringing that up <laughs> that's actually the message from the earth is that you know don't be concerned yes see exactly. the bigger picture and and know that all is so well and that this is an opportunity for us to as you say to start to wake up and it's a, sh- a change in consciousness and in perception it's not uh, with this feeling elizabeth it's not just wake up it's just uh yeah and you wake up this is uh, it feels like a, a yes. more complicated uh, uh expression for people yes. and sometimes the way they define it is as a destination it's not uh it's just to feel and be in line and in alignment with who you really are just this soul this spirit that you have inside that this is who you are and be kida in full trust with the universe and in alignment with the universe and this place this beautiful mm-hmm. feeling and this beautiful center the zero point of who you are and just observe with uh, with eba with curiosity what's going on go with the flow and this is bad this is where the nile comes here <laughs> comes yes, in yes i'm feeling it now you see it's yes. beautiful i love it <laughs> this is where the, the nile comes in you just stand in the zero point like the pyramid and the river will just go just flowing everything is flowing Beautiful. around Yeah. And you know what uh, Yasmin that's the balance that you were talking about the masculine and the feminine again as well. And the balance between the earth and the water. Earth the earth element and the water element. Mm-hmm. I love it. Also yes. for next year so it's working on so many levels. And I just keep on seeing this beautiful dance behind you of the Sufi dance. <laughs> you know? And and it's like we can dance with enchantment like the white wizard does you know and yes. and and just enjoy life and and create and and be in this co-creation with everyone and everything because that's the heart eh exactly. this this thing of, of we can do so much more together and it's so, so much more fun and happy and joyful yes yes so, i feel I'm so oh, very I'm also so feeling it. <laughs> so thank you for helping us to get that feeling and I trust you everyone's going to watch this will also feel it because it's that beautiful that heart. So yeah, so let's just acknowledge you and this beautiful heart that you have Yasmin. Thank you. And that you are right here on this planet and that you've incarnated and that you were willing to take the time in your busy life and your <laughs> many expressions of you. and that yeah that you were you know can share your your being so authentically with 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 us i'm so grateful and i'm so just, grateful of having you in my life elizabeth yeah. oh it's, it's, uh, thank you yes you are one of the <laughs> best things the real blessings that i have and this is this is coming from my heart yeah and yeah, yeah. the deepest part oh. of my heart. 
Thank you. I love you, it. You, you helped me and you changed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot since I met you. <laughs> I helped you to change it. You did it, eh? But yeah, it's been so much fun. I love it. Yes, and, and it so was really loved. fun. <laughs> exactly. And I so love to connect with this, yeah, as I say, these these beautiful energies of of so many of you there in, in Cairo and Egypt, you know, it's, yeah, I feel it's, you're holding such a big space for the planet. So thank you, my darling. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. So lots of love and big hug and yeah. Thanks, Yasmin. You are Big hug amazing. and lots of love. <laughs> yeah, let's take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Love you, babe. Bye.